Hello and welcome to the Professional Advertising Design course. This is our second lesson. This is the design that we will be working on today. So let's begin. First thing is to set the work background. And I already downloaded all the pics and the backgrounds that I need. And this is the background that we will be working on with. So I add it to the Photoshop. I drag it here like this. Now I will add another image, this one right here. I add it to the Photoshop. I put it right here. Now I will add this space right here. I choose the eraser tool and I go like this. I'm not deleting the whole picture, I just want them to look as one picture. Now I will choose another image. This one right here, I add it to the Photoshop. Now I drag it to the design page. I adjust its size. And I put it right here. That's good. Then I will delete this background. I choose this tool. Then I zoom in a little bit. So I can work in a good way. I start from here, like this. I keep going like this. And I press delete. That's it. Now as you see this is the background, as this shape color, as you notice the colors are different so I will try to make them look the same. I go to image adjustments, hue saturation.
and I adjust the settings like this. Now I go to levels. Now this is the background. Now we will add the biker image. I will add it to the Photoshop. When you are when you are searching for images, I recommend searching images in PNG because they they are without background. They are already cropped. And as you see here, I'm using an image that it's already cropped to save us time. So remember, always look for PNG images. I will adjust its size like this. Now I put it right here. As you see, this is our design final look. Now I will add a text to the to the design. I go here to this tool, then I press here. I choose the font size. And I can type whatever I want. Now I will choose a font. There is plenty to choose from. You can choose whatever one you like. I will choose this one. I will make it a little bit larger. I will adjust the space between the top and the bottom line. Now I drag the text to here. I choose this setting right here, then I can turn it as I like. Then I go here to blend in options. I press color. I select the color that I want. I will choose the yellow, but you can choose whatever color you like. That's good. Now I press struck. I choose outside, then I adjust the size like this. That's good. Then I listen the opacity like this. I copy the layer, I press here, then I go to filter, before that I will add another layer, and by pressing Control E I will make them one. I go to blur, motion blur, I make the angle at this settings, the distance to
so that this effect appear that's good as for the color I will adjust it a little bit that's it and this is the final look of our design I will add an, just one more thing under this layer here there is a filter that I want to add a little bit of dirt I will add it right here then I will delete these ones right here and this is the final look of our design I hope that you liked it and I will see you in the next course thank you very much for watching